Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer from Surabaya, Indonesia. My hobbies are reading, gaming, and cooking. It's lagging. I joined this event because it's a great opportunity to share insight and meet new people from all around the world. In my presentation, I chose Anne Sukamoto because personally, science is one of my favorite lessons and the fact that she's a female scientist inventor gives me hope and motivation that one day, I too can become an inventor for the greater good. Now on to the behind the scenes of making my submission video. First of all, I went on the web to research about my favorite inventor, Anne Sukamoto. Afterwards, I compiled the most unique facts I found into a script. Then I memorized the script that I made before and came up with a costume. I transformed myself into Anne Sukamoto with a jet black suit, a white blouse, and some white hair made out of a lot of baby powder. Next, I prepared a phone, green screen, tripod, and found a quiet, bright place to record the video. Then I recorded edited and published the video to Instagram. Now I'm going to show you the video that I made. I was born on the 6th of July, 1952 in Los Angeles County. I took my undergraduate degree from the University of California, San Diego, then took a PhD in microbiology and immunology at the University of California, Los Angeles. Cancer is one of the deadliest diseases in the world with millions of deaths per year. With that in mind, while working on systemics, my colleagues, Yuko Aihara, Charles M. Baum, Irving Westman, and I carried out intensive research on stem cell. Previously, scientists had theories about the application of hematopoietic stem cells to treat various diseases and save lives. However, researchers were unable to study hematopoietic stem cells because they had no way to isolate them. Blood stem cells are immature cells found in the bone marrow and peripheral blood that can develop into all types of blood cells, white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. These stem cells then mature and function as needed. In 1991, we finally made a vital breakthrough by discovering the method to isolate blood-forming stem cells and we received a patent for it. Over the years, I held 12 patents related to human hematopoietic stem cells, pancreatic stem cells, and human neural stem cells. Until today, stem cell researchers have been advancing rapidly and has been used to treat people with a variety of diseases and medical problems. Even well-known athletes like Cristiano Ronaldo and Kobe Bryant have undergone stem cell treatment. I believe with further researches, stem cells will be one of the main solutions for a wide range of health problems. That brings us to the end of my presentation. I highly appreciate your attention this morning. Thank you for listening. Thanks, Jennifer. Very good. Well, it was a nice video and a nice impersonation. I mean, I, I supposed you had to study a lot uh, to, I mean, you, you sound so convincing that I, I thought you were talking, speaking about yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the work that you did, uh, editing the, your project and your recording, that was nice. So <clears throat> all the work that you did, uh, using all the information about your uh, character that you are impersonating, yes. that was awesome. So thank you for your, for your great job. Thank you very much. So uh, I suppose you learned or you're really interested in stem cell uh, uh, yes, I am. biology and technology, right? Have you thought about uh, growing to be a, 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 a researcher or a scientist that works with stem cells? Uh, yes, uh, hopefully I will become one in the near future.
I'm sure about that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure about that. Uh, oh, did you also did some research and learn about other people that uh, work or are currently researching in this field? Wait, well, could you please repeat that, repeat that question again? Yeah, could you like, uh, did you find about other scientists that also work with stem cell technology? Like other people? For this project, I have not because I was fully focusing to her. research about my favorite inventor, which is An Sugamoto, yes. Yeah, awesome. I mean, the, the, video, the video was awesome. Actually, uh, you know, when you put like both pictures side to side, uh, perhaps you could think like, hey, uh, why not? Maybe uh, she was using some deep faking uh, technologies because, I mean, you seem so convincing that definitely you know what you're talking about. Uh, so you. Uh, have you planned uh, uh, what other like inventors that uh, uh, you admire? Uh, uh, do you know or do you think about doing also video on that? Um, I um, made a video of Mary Curie before for school projects. Yeah, yeah, doing those kind of videos is a very good way to learn uh, a lot of things. I love the way, Jennifer, that you actually get all the information about your favorite uh, scientists. And I understand what Arturo is saying, because when you are uh, taking all or maybe uh, the surface of all the information that you search from that, uh, maybe in this time was uh, your favorite scientist, but if you present some other scientist to your uh, friends of your same age, maybe they will be interested to know about or more or, or that or more from that uh, scientist. Not only your favorite, but maybe Tesla, maybe uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So all. Uh, this imperson impersonation that you did was great, but uh, have you ever uh, thought to to use that same impersonating uh, maybe some customs, uh, maybe uh, uh, in a different uh, presentation using another names, another scientist? and just letting uh, your friends know about their research. So maybe those, uh, those friends from you, uh, from your school, will be interested to know more about that scientist. Okay. So maybe it's a cosplay uh, thing. So oh, you yes. are cosplaying some uh, scientist. scientist. In this case, will you will not be doing uh, from uh, like the gamers uh, <laughs> kind of cosplay. So you are doing uh, scientist co cosplay. Yes, scientist costume role play. <laughs> yeah. <I think. laughs> yeah, definitely. I think Ansukamoto should be like flattered by 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 that that word you did. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and uh, well, we have here with you, uh, Lisa, Stephanie. Uh, uh, do, do you want to add something, a comment about this presentation, Lisa? Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for promoting me. So hi, Jennifer. How was your presentation? So Jennifer was with us yes. during the presentation and then during the Inventor Wannabe competition last time. So the video that she submitted was for uh, our event, actually the Inventor Wannabe. So, and Jennifer was one of the, uh, the winner for, for this event so that she got promoted to share this good uh, project to the world through this gift event. Oh, so. thank you. <laughs> well done, Jennifer, well done. 
Very good, very good. Congratulations. Um, okay, so thanks for sharing and thanks for uh, sharing with, uh, with everybody that, that great work, uh, Jennifer. I hope that uh, on the next gift edition, which is gonna happen in July, uh, uh, you can join also and share something with everybody. Yes, thank you for the opportunity. Very good.